Hello, and welcome to this combination of the month. I'm going to be teaching a combination that is an intro for pirouettes in the center. So I know many students are really excited to do pirouettes and turns in the center, but it's really important um, as they're starting to learn this, the basics and where their bodies need to be, um, have the proper placement so that they can do multiple turns more easily. So this combination is really gonna break it down. Um, we're gonna start on flat and then we'll add releves as well. I'm gonna do hands on the hips just as a more beginner um, level and then when I do it to the other side, I'll add port de bras. That'll be for your more advanced students. Um, so let me show you the combination before we um, turn the music on. So we're gonna be on fox, which is straightforward with no, no direction. So the students, if you have a mirror, can really see their proper placement. So we're gonna go plie, coupe, passe, and bring it down. We'll repeat this one more time. Plie, coup de pied devant, Passe and sit. Then we'll go plie, coupe relevé, plie, coupe relevé, plie. Then we'll bring it to passe and then close it back and we're ready for the other side. So one more time. The first set is on flat. So plie, find the coupe and passe, close it, sit. Plie, coup de pied devant, passe and sit. Plie, two coup de pied devant relevé, plie. Coup de pied devant, plie, passe, close it to the back, and fit. So the whole first side, everything will be closing to the front, except for the passe that passes through to close back so that you have the left foot front now. So when you're doing this combination, especially on the flat, you really want to make sure that the students, you can see my armpit all the way to my ankle is in one line. I'm not leaning one way or the other way. I'm really trying to maintain that length on that standing side. Also, if you see me from the side, I'm not hitching forward or backward. I'm really trying to stay straight up. That's gonna help when you do multiple turns because you can't, it's very challenging to do turns when your upper body is moving. So, um, plie, then from the side, show me coup de pied devant. So that heel should not be touching the ankle because then that's what you bring up to passe and this is an incorrect sickled foot. So let me come a little bit closer here to you. So when I do passe, my heel is forward. It's not resting on that leg. That's gonna lead to twisted ankles eventually for your students. So really make sure from coup de pied devant, that heel is forward and then that's what you bring up to passe and down. So it's an, you're drawing a nice line. I like to think of my pinky toe has a red marker. I bring it from coup de pied devant and then I draw a red line up to my knee and then I draw the red line back down to fifth position so that you keep that contact. That's really important for turns as well. So um, let's add some music and do this combination together. Here we go. Again, I'll do hands on the hips the first set for a more beginner level. And then um, on the other side, I'll add port de bras for more advanced students. Here we go. Fifth position, right foot front. <laughs> job everyone. So then eventually that combination, instead of doing just coup de pied relevé, you can add those as turns. So you would go, this is why I had the arms. So when you get to coup de pied, that arm comes in as if you're doing a coup de pied turn, right? Or a passe turn. You need to have that connection between leg and arm coming together. And so that's what you want to teach your students when they're learning how to pirouette, that proper coordination so that turns are super easy and they're, they're uh, maintaining their proper placement. Awesome, enjoy this combination.